at the words of your mouth. That means you're planning to speak. Come on, somebody. You're planning to speak with your mouth. Come on, somebody. Your words are a seed. Actions are a seed. Everything you do in your life has a uh, consequence to it. It has a repercussion. You're going to reap something from it. And that's why you need to become aware tonight that you're a sower. You've got seeds in your life tonight. And you want to make sure you're sowing the right kind of seeds that you can reap the kind of harvest that you want to reap in your life. You're sowing seeds into your children. You're sowing seeds into your relationships. You're sowing seeds into your health. You're sowing seeds into your emotional state. Every area of your life tonight, you're sowing some kind of seed to it. And when you start reaping a harvest that you don't want, it's not the devil, it's not God. You need to stop for a moment and say, okay, what kind of seeds have I been sowing in my life? Because you're going to reap whatever kind of seeds you're sowing. Someone say amen to that. Now, your words are a seed. Galatians chapter 6, verse 7 says this. Be not deceived. God is not bought. For whatsoever a, a man soweth, that shall he also reap. So, whatever you sow, you're going to reap. For he that soweth to his flesh shall have the flesh reap corruption, but he that soweth to the Spirit shall have the Spirit reap life everlasting. So, whatever you're sowing, you're going to reap. Now, pay attention to this. There's always a path that passes between the sowing of the seed and the reaping. That's what I got to get into you tonight. I got to get that part into you tonight. Because I'm telling you, most people never connect the two. They just reap a bad harvest or they reap a good harvest, whatever it may be, and they never connect the fact that it is, listen, any harvest is always connected to a seed that was sown. Any harvest is connected to a seed that was sown. And you are the sower tonight. You can sow, listen, oh, Jesus, help me tonight to get this in us. We can sow good seeds in our life tonight. And if we sow good seeds, we will reap a good harvest. You will reap whatever you sow. Now, as he says this, because sinners, because sinners are, or because the harvest, against an evil work is not executed speedily, Therefore, the hearts of the Son of Man is fully set in them to do evil. Because the sinners or the harvest doesn't happen immediately, the hearts of men are set in them fully to do evil. What does that mean? Because you don't, because you can sow crazy seeds right now, but you don't reap from that right now. You don't reap from that. If everybody reaped immediately from a bad decision, it would help us not to make bad decisions. Come on. I mean, if you immediately was affected in your health when you made a bad decision with your health, most people would make a bad decision. There would be no sugar diabetes. Come on, somebody. And if there would be less heart disease. Come on. Most people would have lung issues if, if it happened instantly. But they keep sowing these seeds and they never reap a harvest. And then all of a sudden, all of a sudden now it's crazy. They've been sowing these seeds for a, a year, two, three, four, five years. Pretty day always comes. And you got to connect the two. That when I reap something good in my life, it's because of a seed that I sow. Maybe it's six months, a year ago. And when you can connect those two, and you begin, you become aware of the fact you are a sower tonight. You're sowing seeds tonight. All of us are sowing seeds tonight. And the thing that there should be in all of our hearts tonight is I want to walk in the blessings of God. No matter how long I'm in this earth, let me walk in God's favor. Let me walk in joy. Let me walk in peace. 
Let my life be in harmony. I want every good thing that's got my name on it to be released. Help me to spell the right kind of seed. I dare you to get that place tonight. Pay attention. Pay attention to the seed that you're sowing. Because you will reap what you're sowing. Somebody stand with me. I am a sower. Come on, somebody stand with me. I am a sower. You're sowing seed. Right now, you're sowing seeds into your future. You don't just accidentally get there. I got here by by the seeds that I've sown in my past. Can I get a witness? The marriage that I have and that we have, it is just happening. It's seeds that are sown. You can sow some good seeds. I can neglect her. I can take advantage of her. I can neglect her. She can neglect me. She can take a, uh, She can take me for granted. And then a, a six months, a year down the road, there's going to be issues. But if you so love, you you so respect. You... Well, don't let me get in. All right. Uh, listen, this one is. Get ready. You do not have to resow what you're reaping. You do not have to re-sow what you are reaping. Matthew 5, 44. But I say unto you, love your enemies. Bless them that curse you. Do good to them that hate you. Pray for them which despitefully use you and persecute you. So you're being persecuted. You're being hated. And what does the Lord tell you? I don't want you to sow them seeds that you're reaping. I want you to sow a different kind of seed. I want you to sow love where you're reaping hate. I want you to sow prayer where you're reaping persecution. So, listen, this is all oh, God. Just because somebody's been ugly to you, don't mean you got to sow the seed of ugliness to them. Just because somebody is sowing a seed of attitude to you doesn't mean that you, you have to re sow that seed back to them. You can ride watch because if I sow the right kind of seed, I'm going to reap the right kind of harvest. My life is too short to live in hell. My life is too short to be depressed and fight all the time. I refuse to fight. I refuse to argue. I refuse to live that kind of life. I want to go on. Mind and the peace of the Holy Ghost. Come on, I dare you to give God praise. You do not have to re sow what you're reaping. God calls you to be different. Hello, somebody. If you don't like what's going on, check the seed that you're sowing. Hello, somebody. There's some people. It's like that palm tree down there. No matter what you sow to them, you're not going to reap anything from them. But you just need to you need to put them in a category of that the kind of soul that ain't ever going to be affected by seed. We can pour seed on this concrete floor and say the Lord comes that we're never going to reap anything in this building. That's palm tree. You can't grow nothing on palm tree. And there's some people like that. They're not going to respond to love. They're not going to respond to goodness. You just need to put them in the hands of God and move on and pass somebody that you just sow in. Amen. Listen, that you may be the children of your Father which is in heaven. For he makes his son to rise on the evil and on the good. And he sent his rain on the just and on the unjust. What does that tell you? That God is just good. God's sowing good seeds. Even when people are ugly, He's sowing good seeds. Even when they're unjust, He's sowing good seeds. Come on, somebody. Amen. Even when they're evil, God's sowing good seeds. You just need to get it in your spirit and in your mind. I'm a sower, and everywhere I go, I'm going to sow it. Yeah, I'm going to sow kindness. If I keep sowing them good seeds, eventually I'm going to reap a harvest of goodness. I want to listen. I want to eat up some fruit that brings me happiness. I want to eat up some fruit that brings me joy. I want to eat up some fruit that brings me a peace. Come on, say glory. Now, what's Somebody say this for 
with me. I am a soul. Your words are a seed. Your actions are a seed. Words are a seed. And get that out. Faithfulness is a seed. Worship is a seed. Sure it is. Because the more we sow in these avenues, the more we reap from the Lord, and our life is fruitful, our life is blessed. I'm just telling you that this is part three and two. I, I really believe that if I had a time, I could prove this. But a person who sows the Lord into prayer is going to have some peace and joy in their life. Well, I'm sure you know that one, eh? But I, I believe that the more we sow to the Spirit, we're going to reap of the Spirit. And then the Spirit is love, joy, peace, love, suffering. I want to drink of that well. Come on, can I get a witness? I want to, I want to, I want to have a whole crop, not a watermelon, not a, not a cantaloupe. I want to have a whole crop of joy and peace and victory and unity and love. When I throw them to the feet, I'm going to have a better harvest. Oh, somebody bless the Lord here tonight. Come on, you're a sinner. You can change your marriage if you start sowing the right seed. You can change, you can change your middle outlook if you start sowing the right seed. You can go from one level to the next level if you sow the right seed. And come on, we want you to Now, tithing is 10% of your income. 
That's what tithing is. That's what a tithe is, a 10% of your income. So if you make $1,000 a week, then your tithe is $100. If you make $100 a week, then your tithe is $10. Everybody understand? That's your tithe. Offering is free will. That's just whatever you want to give. That's whatever God waits upon your heart to give. Are you hearing me? Now, God says that the tithes and offerings belong to Him. That means that that ten percent it belongs to God. And God says that when you don't when you don't sow that seed, you don't give it. He says that there's a curse because you've walked up. Hello, somebody. Now, at first time, He says you are cursed with a curse, for you have robbed me, even this whole nation. Bring ye all the tithes into the storehouse, that there may be meat in my house. Now, where's your storehouse at? It's the place you get fed. If you get fed here, this is your church, then your tithe is going to go somewhere else. It goes right here at the meat house that's feeding you. Well, I want to say amen. Now, now listen to what God says. He says, Prove me now here will said the Lord of hosts. If I will not open you the windows of heaven, pour you out a blessing, that there shall not be room enough to receive it. Now, please remember this. There is a time between planting the seed and reaping the harvest. There is a time between them. But your tithing will produce a blessing in your life. People who give financially, give of themselves, give to the church. Those are people who are up underneath an open window, and God is pouring out blessings in their life. I'm blessed tonight. Anybody blessed tonight? Oh, Lord, you got to help me tonight. Somebody stay home. Now, God said that your tithes and offerings will produce a blessing. That's what God said. Prove me. Test me. Can see if I won't open the windows of heaven and pour out a blessing upon you. You've got to get the right attitude about tithes and offerings. You're not just coming up here and filling in a check. Baby, I am planting a seed. I am sowing. This brother out here working this land, you think he's just out here working this land, going to plant that seed and not expect a harvest? No, he's working hard. Why? Because he's looking for harvest. He said, if I plant the seed, I work it, I'm going to get an increase. You've got to get your spirit right, your mind right. I'm not just giving, I'm sowing. And when I sow, I get back to others. God said it is worth that if I sow my eyes and offers, you'll open the windows of heaven and pour out a breath. I'm going to say glory. Listen. There is a time here between the sow and the seed and the, and the harvest. What's this? Any person who is committed to giving financially, blessings come. Don't forget to tithe on the blessing. Because if you don't tithe on the blessing, then you're going to drop back to this place of being back up and being that curse. But if I can tithe on the increase, I started out with this. But now blessings come in my life. It's not time to eat all the blessing. It's time to take that ten percent. I mean, it's going to eat. But this time, instead of sowing a hundred seeds, I'm going to sow a thousand seeds. And if I sow a thousand seeds, I'm going to reap a bigger harvest. And with that next harvest, I'm going to sow on it. I'm going to keep on sowing. Somebody say glory. Oh, 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 boy. Lord, you always give me these things here. All right, here we go. 
Have you ever heard this? If I win the lottery, if I win the lottery, I'm going to give. I'm going to pay the church off. If you said that, forgive me. I never forgot who told me that, so don't get offended. But listen to me. If it's hard for you to write out a hundred dollar check, write out a thousand dollar check is even harder. And they're like, if they can't pay God and they show what they have, if they get if they get two hundred and fifty thousand dollars, they're not gonna be able to write a check a ten percent off them. What what would what's ten percent two hundred and fifty thousand? Twenty five thousand. I'll give twenty five thousand cents. You lie, because you can't even get ten percent off your payroll that you pay that you give, and you're gonna write the church with dollars. You consider the blessing. Listen, I believe the blessing on this church, the blessing on my life. We survived COVID. We survived all these years. Why? Because we are a given people. I'm a given pastor. This is a given church. I know for a fact tonight, we are blessed not by what we have, but by what we have given away. Come on, can I get a witness? Put your mind around this. If you're sowing, you're a sower. You can sow financially, you can sow with your words, you can sow with your actions, and whatever you sow, you're going to reap a harvest. I want to sow some seed. Somebody say glory. Can you put your hands together for the Lord one more time? I want to say glory. You can start sowing your tithes and offerings. It is spiritual. In the book of Acts, when they got filled with the Holy Ghost, they gave to everybody. Because when you get when you get your heart and your mind in the right position, you realize it's more blessed to give than it is to receive. Why? Because when I give, I'm sowing. And God's promise for harvest, so I'm just telling you, I'm not giving, I'm sowing. If I give you a drink of water, I am expecting God to keep His word. He said, prove me. I'm going to prove it. So get in a position of where you can sow your tithing 10% of your income. Hello, somebody. And it is spiritual. It's not physical, it's spiritual. Listen. Riding, tithing on your check, don't make it tithing. Putting it in a tithing envelope, don't make it tithing. It's only tithing when it's ten percent of the income. We got a good song that we can get it in for the song of Sunday, but I ain't gonna need it tonight. I got, I got, I appreciate it. I'm pulling this wagon tonight, brother. Ten percent, that's that's the tithing. Hello, somebody. Get used to giving big offerings. <laughs> you guys said it. Let me pull the sheets up a little bit now. You said the sheets. Oh, man. You come back out. No, I got the sheets last year. The church don't need no money. I don't need no money. I'm good. Look at me. You're giving me. It doesn't look like I'm losing any weight. Oh, man. We could, but I'm telling you a biblical principle that what you sow, you're going to reap. And if you get stingy and you take what belongs to God, you'll be grounded up here all the day of your life. I said I had God help me win this group. I said I had to win the battle. Come on, somebody. Get it in your spirit. Fifteen thousand dollars, I didn't 
starts by giving what you got. And then when it increases, be, be ready to give of that blessing. Why? Because when I show, I'm going to reap. Come on, somebody. Watch this. I'm, I'm going to just close. You guys just read it. It's like a story about going to the church or something. Brother Holmes in North Little Rock. Brother Holmes in North Little Rock. This church, they pay a million dollars tithing. Hey, you must have got one a million dollars. Can you imagine right now a million dollars? It takes the Holy Ghost on that. Oh, yeah, don't, don't get in spiritually in there. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. You struggle on $250. Now, do you get ready? I said, you get ready for the Glue on your hand. Come on, children. I'll get it next week. I'll get it next week. No, you will take when we call it next week. No. <laughs> no, no, somebody say glory. Now, 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 now I'm going to do this. And, and I'm going to be real careful with this. In fact, I want to I honor and I want to respect him. But I'm just going to tell you what kind of people are here at this church. We had an individual in this church just show a seed of $4,200.
you got some clothes you're not wearing, bring them up here. We'll take them to Hope International. All their books that we just gave to the county jail, and you got them hard to learn books you paid for, and you brought them up here to give away. You, you, there, there's a harvest coming. Some of you already walking in the harvest. Hello? That stamp where you bought, I don't know, I don't know how much it was, but, but, but there's a harvest in that. You can't, you can't do good and reap bad. You listen, you throw good things, you're going to reap a good harvest. As a church, and I'm sure as a church, we got to find ways to give. Give to each other, give to the community, give to ministry. We want to be a God do it for the, the blessings of God. He told Abraham, I'm going to bless you that you can be a blessing. All I want to do is be a God do it. I want to be a God do it. I want to be a giver. Let this church be a giver. Let this church be a God. Let your blessings flow through us. Look at that community. Look at the lives of other people. Come on, lift your hands and look up tonight. Come on, be a keeper. Come on. I'm just telling you. I'm just telling you, sir, you're a sower. Sister, you're a sower. You got seeds. Sow some good seeds. Come on, lift your hands and love God. Come on, lift your hands and love God. Come on, lift your hands and love God. Hallelujah. Come on, lift your hands and love God. Come on, lift your hands and love God. Come on, hallelujah. Hallelujah! 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 Yeah! Hallelujah! Somebody said to the Lord, 